Hey you guys, in honor of Spider-Man Homecoming being finally released out into the theaters, I figured it's about time that I created my own Spider-Man face shell. All right, and here's the finished face shell. This thing came out great. Again, this is just a piece that goes underneath a mask that you would wear over top of this. I also have gone in and applied some magnets to the eyes here. So what I did was just hot glued in some magnets into the eye pieces here. And on the other end, I had some um, metal sheeting that I just cut up into strips and then also hot glued onto the back of these and they just snapped snap right into place, more or less snap right into place, I should say. <laughs> I'm still working on refining the, the actual fitting for those, but they fit well. They're not gonna fall off when you put them on there. And as well, there are three different sets of eyes that you can print for this. And I also ended up printing the little white inserts for the eyes as well. I'm probably gonna go in and actually put in some white mesh here instead. But for the time being, I can still see through the little holes here. And again, the best part is that I can swap these eyes in and out. They don't animatronically move. There are, are some actual videos here on YouTube. I highly recommend checking them out because I was looking at those and just blown away at the skills of some of the folks that are out there of what they're doing with being able to make the eyes actually mechanically move, which is just so friggin' freaking amazing. But yeah, what what's next up with this is I'm actually gonna be taking some t-shirts that I picked up and I've got some tutorials that I'm watching from Dalai Lamo. I, I've got links down below. I love his channel. He does a lot of cardboard builds for replica props, uh, but one of his videos was specifically how to make a fabric mask out of a t-shirt. So I'm gonna go through that same method for creating a actual mask that will go over this face shell. So actually let's let's go ahead and just try this on and see what it's like. So as you see it fits perfectly. Ah, yeah baby, this thing is just friggin awesome. I actually need to go ahead and print the the web shooters as well. Uh, I can see through the eyes here, which is amazing. I can uh, also just take them off here so you can see where the placement of my eyes are. I did not scale this at all. I printed the default file that was provided by Do3D. Should also mention those folks are the ones that created this. I've got links down below if you're interested in picking up this file for yourself and printing one. Printed it over on my CR10, no surprise there, and it printed perfectly. Uh, there was one small issue when I went and printed this is that uh, the file did shift here at the top. I don't really care since I'm going to be putting fabric over this, uh, but it fits absolutely perfect. Let me grab the other eyes. So again, there are three different sets of eyes for this particular mask. There is a really wide eye that is sort of the typical Spider-Man eye that you see here. That's this. There is a medium as well, which is which is this eye right here. And then there's the one that I was wearing previously, which is which is this eye. So it's again, it's a little bit more of a, the squinted in look for the eye there. But it basically allows you to mix and match these as you so please. And again, this thing, look at this. <laughs> Give it a little bit of a different expression there. So here, let me swap this one out for the matching eye. And it just basically snaps into place. I can move my head all around. 
I don't need any straps or anything like that to support the mask, the face shell on my face. And it, again, is just amazing. I'm actually considering redoing my Deadpool mask as well with the same concept of the metal backing here. Actually, one of my viewers submitted a comment on that Deadpool video suggesting I do that with the magnetic eyes. Instead of just doing magnet to magnet, I can get away with just using, in this case, six magnets here around the eye frame and then just using strips of metal from a sheet of metal that I picked up at Lowe's or Home Depot, and I think it was less than 10 bucks. And I have plenty to spare. And yeah, it just works really seamlessly. So pretty cool, pretty cool. I'll uh, include some close-up shots here, more than likely, do some cool little effects there. But uh, hopefully you guys have seen Spider-Man Homecoming. If not, uh, you've always got Civil War here on Netflix, which is so much fun to watch. All right, so again, this was the Spider-Man face shell that you can pick up over at Do3D. I just wanna say a big special thank you to the folks over there for helping provide these files for me to print and share with you here today. Also wanted to share a big, huge thank you to my Patreon members. Uh, thank you all for helping me support this channel and helping me create video content that you're seeing like this right now. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon member, I've got links down below. By no means is that any way necessary. It just helps me keep the lights on, so to speak. Actually, I have a job that does that, but this helps me keep my projects funded and going. Uh, but I just want to say again, thank you everybody that's subscribing and watching and all that other crazy stuff. I'm almost nearing 50,000 subscribers, which is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. So again, thank you guys for watching and until next time. All right, and I'll see you next time. That's my web shooter sounds. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, do, 